Hello, uh, this is a short tutorial uh, for the uh, intended for the students of high performance computing taught at the University of Texas at San Antonio. I just wanted to go over real quickly how I would recommend accessing Shamu, the Sun Linux cluster that we'll be using in class uh, from home. Of course, inside of class, we'll cover how to do that. Uh, but from home, some of you may be interested in accessing it from home, so I want to give you a short tutorial, on at least how I'd recommend uh, going about that. So, of course, if you're on a Macintosh like I am here today, the easiest way is to simply open up the terminal and uh, you can log right in and it'll automatically uh, forward the X window for you if you have uh, X quartz and you put the right uh, commands in. So, uh, of course, as we learn in class, the to log into Shamu from a terminal window, you simply, simply type SSH. The port number Y will forward the S, S, uh, X window. Your ABC123 username at shamu.coe.utsa.edu. And when you do it, you probably be log, uh, prompted to log in, uh, put a password in. I have mine set up. Uh, such that I don't need to do that, but uh, here you can see we're, we are in Shamu now. We're SSH'd in. Um, and of course, uh, we can check the X window by uh, forwarding it. So as you can see, it is in fact there. Okay. Now, if you're not on a Mac, uh, it's not an issue. There's a, a great tool called VirtualBox. Uh, so VirtualBox is a virtual machine. Uh, Oracle makes it, and um, it's a, it's a virtual machine implementation that, that's distributed by Oracle and it's completely free and, and open source. Uh, and the link will be down there at the bottom of the screen. So you can go out to VirtualBox and download it and they have one-click installers for uh, Macs or for Windows machines. And this is how I'm going to be the recommended method uh, f for getting on a Windows machine uh, onto Shamu. So if you were on a Windows, Windows machine, you can fire up VirtualBox, uh, you know, from the from the start menu. Um, and you should see something that looks like this. Okay, so we want to install uh, an Ubuntu, so we need to go to Ubuntu website. Ubuntu.com and that'll bring up uh, the, d the download for the distribution. Uh, now, there are many other Linux distributions that would work equally well. I don't um, uh, endorse this one over any other uh, except for the fact that it is known to be very stable and very user-friendly. So if we click on this, we would go ahead and, and uh, download the Ubuntu desktop. Um, you can choose 32 or 64-bit. Uh, for the purposes of this class, it really doesn't matter. You can uh, start the download. Now, we're not going to wait. It'll probably take 15 or 20 minutes on a broadband connection uh, to download that. It, it turns out I, I've already actually downloaded uh, an Ubuntu uh, to my to my downloads folder, so I'll go ahead and, and bring that up now. So to, in order to install that, you open up VirtualBox, uh, just hit New, and it'll take you right through a little wizard. Um, you can actually uh, type in Ubuntu. It should it should bring up Linux and and Ubuntu here. Uh, choose if you if you did a 64-bit uh, download, that's fine. You can pull it there. Um, for the purpose of this class, it's fine to just accept all of the uh, defaults. Just continue to accept the defaults. So now we've set up the uh, virtual drive, we can go ahead and start it and it'll prompt us on the first install to help us install Ubuntu. So um, if we go to our downloads folder, uh, here's the image where uh, I had our previously downloaded. So we'll go ahead and click that and then we'll just go ahead and proceed through uh, with the defaults. Ubuntu has a very user-friendly uh, installation process as well. So we'll just go ahead and wait, and I'll take you through that.
Okay, we're back after a short boot up time there. Uh, we're going to uh, install Ubuntu. You can uh, check if you'd like to go ahead and, and download the updates while installing. This will in install uh, all the most uh, recent uh, hardware uh, updates. You want to erase the disk and install Ubuntu. There's nothing on the disk, so that's not a problem. And we'll go ahead and click install now. To answer some questions here. Okay, for uh, your uh, your name, you know, you can you can put in your full name if you'd like. Uh, your computer's name, you know, it doesn't really matter uh, what you call it. You can call it uh, my computer, for that matter. For your username, uh, usually in the Unix convention, you pick something short. Uh, I would actually recommend, for the purposes of this class, you use your ABC123 username. That'll uh, make it a little bit less of a headache logging on to Shamu. Uh, you can choose any password you'd like. I'm going to choose a weak one here. Okay, we're back from a 10 or 15 minute install process, uh, not too bad. We're going to go ahead and click restart now. And the virtual machine will reboot. You have to hit enter there. All right, and we're back from a reboot, so uh, it wants us to go ahead and, and uh, put our password in. And now we have an Ubuntu virtual machine running on inside a virtual box. So in order to open a ter terminal in, in Ubuntu, uh, if you go here to dash home, you can type uh, xterm and it should pull up an X terminal window which we can then use to log into Shamu so we can say ssh-p1209-y and then if you used your abc123 as your username you don't need to put it in front of uh, the at symbol there so normally we would write you know fes788 at Shamu whatever but we don't need to write that now uh, one reason I suggested using that so we can just write uh, shamu.coe.edu.utsa.edu uh, you may have to answer a, a yes there but then we go ahead and put in our password and now we're logged into Shamu and the X window should be forwarded as well. And there it is. So th this is my recommended way. You can actually install some uh, VirtualBox plugin that will allow you to run this virtual machine in full screen mode. I'm not going to go over that. I'll leave that up to you. It's, uh, it's actually quite easy. But um, you can ask me questions in, in class if you'd like to uh, get that running. Anyway, thanks.